Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and 7 Days to Die. So what's going to happen today? Well today it is after the Day 7 Horde, so which is Day 8 of course as you can see, oh shoot, as you can see in the top, I completely forgot about this, I placed spikes all the way on the outside here. So I'm glad that we're able to loot these zombies. I kind of want to look at the aftermath of the zombies. It's kind of... Uh, oops. And how about that one? Perfect. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to pound these bad boys out. It's a waste of 100, but that is okay. They actually did really well. I'm quite surprised. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, so this worked out really good, so I'm glad I placed these here like I had intended to. Oops. So, yeah, so what's going to happen today? Well, I think we're going to hit the town up. I need some mechanical parts. I want to build that workbench, and I want to grab that. There is a science thing to grab, so let's just kind of inspect the damage here. Let's just kind of get rid of these zombies. Let's see here. There's a zombie here. Some loot. Bang. An empty zombie remains. How about that? Ooh, that's stuff in there. I'm glad we can loot from such a distance. Let's see here. Anything? Oh, look at this. Some more stuff. Got that one. Oh, look at that. Schematic. Leather armor. Cool, cool. How about this one? No, that one's really good. How about this one? No, that one's good. It's a couple layers of stuff on that one. How about over here? Anything here? Oh, there's some bunch of zombies here. Cool, cool. I don't think I had spikes on this side, but maybe I did. Maybe that's why they're all destroyed. Uh, here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, and how about over here? Over here there was some zombies. So everything is still intact, which is impressive. Yeah, okay, cool. So that all worked out really good. So now I'm going to head in this direction. And I'm going to head down towards the city, of course. And I'm not sure where I want to go in here. I want to probably go back to these areas. So I want to delete these these points as well. Because that's unnecessary. Because uh, Lushable Echo pointed out to me how the the stuff works the respawn and basically the respawn works when you're not in that area at all for 30 days so which means that the town that we're in here there's plenty more stuff to collect in there and and hit and everything and so yeah so folks grab your drinks and your tasty treats and yeah you come along for the ride and yeah and check out what's going to be happening here so yeah so i'll meet you over in the town so here we are in the town. So basically I want to hit up these things right here. Because these I think have the most chance for mechanical parts. Because uh, that's what we want to use to make the workbench, right? And so I'm going to check my inventory after this. We do have to be on the lookout for zombies because you know they're going to come from all directions. Come on, come on. Oh boy. I know we took out zombies when we were here last time, but we probably missed a few. So let's take a quick peek in our inventory. So yeah, mechanical parts. So I need 20 of those bad boys. So I think we will continue with these things. I think these do the best. Because it just seems that way. And yeah, I think I mentioned already before the cut, but you grab your drinks and your tasty treats because yes we're going to oh no I didn't mean to do that okay some on zombies let's see anything inside here oh yeah we got this to read uh, we already know it so we're gonna sell it at the vendor because you get experience for selling stuff at the vendor there's leather here like that is just cool Oh, hello. Hi, Chicky. Hi. Woo. You missed. Bang. I keep forgetting the distance in this game. That's still 
kind of tricky for me. Make sure they're all dead in here, actually, because there's there's pretty good looting in here. Let's loot this guy. Let's keep our ears open. I wonder if we can dismantle these things. Do we get mechanical parts out of these? I don't know. Man, we need a better wrench so badly. Oh, I think that's mechanical. Cool. Oh, there's another one. So these actually would be better. Uh, let's see if we get any more. Oh yeah, and another. Okay. So I, I think these are the best. The shopping carts. Because if you're guaranteed... Okay, now there's some iron scrap there. Seems there's no zombies. Search the vehicle here. See, look at that. There's so much stuff here. Unbelievable. There's like bird's nests. There is coolers for food. Oh, I bet you that would have electrical parts in it. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to loot that. A little fence here. Man, this is exciting, folks. Let's do this. This so this will be a looting run episode, I think. Uh, we do that. What's our our skill in scavenging? Is 14. I think we do have a quality Joe in effect. I think. So how many do I have? So seven mechanical parts. So I think this would be the best. Oh, we should, uh, exp oh, cool, there's some materials there. Let's see what we get out of this thing. We should get the same thing. We should get a mechanical part. And as soon as we hit 20 of those, then we know that we can build one. And then we do need to get that, that poppin' pills. There's a, a thing there. So let's actually, oh, dang it, I'm full. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to run, there's a car that's over here. It's kind of far away, but I think I'm going to do some inventory management in that car down here. And then I'm going to run back to where the popping pills is. And then, yeah, and then I'll meet you down there. Here we are at the popping pills. Okay. So now the trick will be to take on the zombies. This one probably doesn't see me yet. Now he will. And it's going to be interesting to see how many zombies that we have here. It is just after the Day 7 Horde. That might not have anything to do with anything, but it might. I don't know. If we're lucky, it might. So, I think I was here already. We already looted this place. I'm just going to put down some wood frames here just to confuse the AI. Okay. And... I think we can break into one of these rooms here and there's an actual chemical thingy. So I think let's let's do that. Uh, hopefully there won't be any zombies, but that's okay. You know, we'll just beat them up. Okay. Uh, ah, yes, this thing. This thing. The chemistry station. So best thing to deal with this. Oh, it's metal, okay, is to hit it down, and then just before you knock it down, you want to use your wrench on it, so that way you save your wrench, right? And snap, and it should be in my inventory, beautiful. So that's the chemistry station, so that is awesome, so I think we can leave this place, maybe we'll loot this up a little bit here, there's lots of pill cases. We do have the quality Joe one, I think. Let's see here. Oh, I saw an, a pummel Pete. We do have to buy this one because that's very useful. And then, yeah, quality Joe. We're already at the first a level to that, so we should be finding better loot, but <laughs> you know how the luck goes in seven days to die. Sometimes it's good luck. Sometimes it's bad luck. Right now it's being very nice. So far we've got lots of stuff out of all of those. The blood bags you can actually drink. So if you need kind of like liquid. Ooh, look at that. What is this? Oh, they changed the box on these. I remember them as a different container. Or maybe that's when you drink, you eat them. I don't know. So I'm going to eat them for the wellness. Let's open this up. That's regular bandage. Yeah, it looks like there's no zombies here. That's awesome. Uh, this is probably the washroom. Yeah, so there'll be stuff in these medicine cabinets. Oh boy. Oh, what was that? That was goldenrod seed, I think. 
That's nice. We could use that. Uh, that would probably be poop and stuff. Oh, no. Maybe nothing. Oh, nothing. How about what's in here? Anything good? Bam. Anything in here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Finding lots of good stuff. So we'll just leave this stuff here. There'll probably be some dukes in here. Yeah, very little. It's like not worth it to raid these. They need to increase. There's oh look look at that. Look at that. There's a vending machine here. Oh nice. So if we ever need water or goldenrod tea or anything like that, we can come here. Let's see here. Oh boy, there's another vitamins. Cool. This is a cool place. Cool place. So so far so good. So yeah, so we didn't get molested by anything. So let's check this shopping cart here. Uh, do we have rooms? I think we do have room. They should give us electrical, or electrical, mechanical components. And I think those those other things are way better. The, oh no, the shopping carts should be good. What do we need to repair these things? Do we need like forged steel? Forged steel. So maybe that's what we'll do, or maybe you need a workbench. Oh man, I hope we get enough materials. That'd be terrible if we couldn't get enough mechanical parts. Hmm. Might have to find another wrench. Okay, so we got ten mechanical parts. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my luck on these things here. These carts. We'll just. I might as well just try. I wish I knew. Yeah. I wish I knew like when it triggered the items. It seems like it's at a certain point, but I think my skills now is getting low. So I think there's like three or four mechanical parts. Maybe it's related to how the quality of the item that you're using. Will there be another one? Yeah. See, it's interesting. Or maybe there's there's different values to them potentially. So let's keep looking. We'll just have to keep looting because unfortunately that's just part of it. So we'll eat this. We found another beaker. We'll scrap this so to make room. Uh, I want to. Uh, let's just scrap it. Make room. We can actually scrap that. I'm not sure what the scraps into, but sure. <laughs> A blue sedan. Oh, we already looted this at one point. Maybe we'll loot that again in another time. I didn't loot. See, let's say I don't loot everything. It's kind of a hit and miss type of thing. Uh, iron arrowhead. We could just make them. So I'm just going to do that. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna run back towards the the exit of the place. Gonna go back over here, and we're gonna hit that RV park. I think really good. And then that's what we'll do. We'll hit these RV parks up. I don't think there's really anything more of, of interest. Oh, and there is a zombie. Hi. Hi. We got Pummel Pete now in, in effect, so we should be a little bit better. I can't wait to upgrade my my weapon. Oh, she's toast. Oh, there's a canned food on her. There is a bank that we could hit, but I want to kind of build up my, my scavenging skill a little bit more for that one. So yeah, so I'm going to go to that RV park, so I'll meet you over there. Here we are, we are at the, the RV park. So see how my athletics is increasing? It is doing really well. So today the game is running exceptionally well. Recording is, seems to be working quite nicely, so we'll keep an ear out for zombies, and I'm just going to you do this. So I tell you what. I'll probably add some music to this part, and yeah, then you'll be able to watch me fast forward through this.
Yeah, I think that uh, about covers it. I was going to do some more. I was hoping that I was going to get enough uh, mechanical parts before I went home. I was trying to look for another one of these RV parks. I think that one we might be able to reach. And I have no, an inventory issue, so that is another challenge. I'm trying to figure out what I can manipulate, but I might have to dump some stuff into something. Maybe this car over here. Sedan. Come on, come on. Bam, okay. So maybe we can dump some of this stuff away. The brass we could use. Maybe that thing will dump there. Where is this? Yeah, by the other RV place. We'll find that stuff again. So, I was hoping I could quickly dismantle a couple of these bad boys. We might get a spawn. I'm, I'm so lucky to to have found this wrench. Man, it's so fluky. 18, oh, come on, man. 19, I think. This is the cart. Come on, come on. Bang. Oh, shoot. How many do we got? 19. We need... Oh, man. Zombie time. Do we have enough time? 1,600 hours? Oh, shoot. She moved. Bang. Okay, and then we we pop her head. Perfect. Oh man, I don't want to loot stuff with a full inventory. That would be terrible. So let's throw a bunch of this stuff in here. We're gonna throw the sandwich, the cloth, the glass, the plastics, because we don't know what we use that stuff for, right? So yeah, so let's go after this guy. Bang. Come on, Bubble Pete! Woo! I hear zombies all around me. Come on! Come on! Oh boy! There you go, now he's toast. Bam! Okay, same silly thing. Hey, dude! Hello! Okay, and just pound your face in, loot your face, come on chickies, anyone else in here, hello, okay, I want to loot this thing, just got to keep her ears peeled, we just need one more, I think that is the one, okay, let's, now we can run back, and so now I'm just kind of heading back towards our base here and I'm gonna offload and call it an episode maybe I'll do some harvesting off camera there's no point in showing that to you folks but yeah but let's place our chemical station I was gonna place it on this on, on the second level I know the forge is on the first level we could potentially put on the first one as well but I don't know I don't think it matters really because that means the zombies would have to break their way in and then you'd have to I don't know, you not deal with them and let them break, you know, inside again. But with our base the way it's it's all set up, it's almost impossible it seems. I guess we'll see as we approach each each horde night. But so far it's easy peasy. And now we'll be able to build that workbench. Uh, we have the, the claw hammer. So then we can just use the crappy wrench with the claw hammer and Voila, I think that will create a new workbench. And then, yeah, and then we're in business. Then we can make more of these bad boys. And, yeah, so it's very exciting. So hopefully you folks enjoyed this episode. It's kind of like a looting episode. And that's usually what happens after the Day 7 Horde. You usually go on a, on a little looting trip so that way you can pick up some basic necessities and, you know, kind of come back with a, a load of loot some eggs, some stuff that we kind of left behind. I left behind more stuff, but that is okay. And so, yeah. So, thank you, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.